Hello YouTube. Today, I'm going to be doing a review of the Makarov Ultra by Legends. Now, this is a blowback pistol. It holds 16 rounds of ammunition. It's full metal. It uses 4.5 millimeter steel BBs and 12 gram CO2 cartridges. Claimed FPS is 350, but on a warm day, if you're taking good care of the gun, keeping it all lubricated and keeping all the seals good and greased, you could get up to 400 FPS. Alright, so, let's look at the box. Very generic. Nothing too special about it. And the pistol sits right in there. Now, I've had this gun for a little while. I actually keep it in this, my pistol case from Wholesale Sports. Great case, shapes me very well. Pick them up at most sporting goods stores or army surplus places. So here's a look at the gun itself in the case. Now this is how I like to travel. Four extra CO2 cartridges, pell gun oil, BBs, magazine, and the gun. So this is the magazine. It's pretty generic. I'm sure you all know. Your CO2 goes in here. BBs go in there. So, to load the BBs, pull this back and to the right, pull this back and to the right, put the BBs in that little hole there, make sure it's tilted downward. When you're done, there's a little button here on the side, push that, spring comes up, it's released, and you're ready to fire. Now there's a gun itself. Pretty phenomenal weapon actually. Especially for the price. Got a good weight to it. Nice full metal construction. The grip is plastic and I'm actually not a huge fan of the feel of that. But it's got decent grip so you know what? I'm not going to complain. Now unlike the real Makarov it is single action. So you have it has to be cocked back every time. Which is kind of unfortunate because at at the end of the each CO2 cartridge, it'll fire. The slide won't go far back enough, and the hammer won't get cocked. Most blowback guns do that, but if it was double action, you wouldn't even have that problem. Um, just because of the way it, it functions. So that's point down for it, which is really unfortunate. But you know what? Get over it. So the safety, super easy. Pull it out of your holster, flick it out, and you're ready to fire right away. It's, it's super comfortable. Um, actually, the safety even works with the hammer cocked back. It's just a little harder. you got to get a little more leverage to push it. Whoa. But, yeah, it does work like that. Um, interesting feature, actually. If I, hold on. If the gun is cocked back and it's on safe, let it go, safety turns off. I don't know, thought that was kind of cool. Interesting idea. So yeah, that's about it for the outside of the gun. Oh, <laughs> magazine release on the bottom. Strange, really hard for, for some people to get used to at first, but I got used to it and now reloading's not a big deal. It's actually, it's, it's fine right there. I don't have any problem with it anymore. The spring is actually... It's not a very hard spring. Uh, it, it keeps the kick up. And it, it's like that because... The CO2 used to propel the slide back um, is very low. So that you get more CO2 going to the BBs. Which is... That's a good thing. But that means a lighter recoil spring... So that means you shake it around, it can slide or move around. Not a huge deal, but can be a little annoying for certain people. So yeah, that is it for the outside of the gun. 
All right, so now that we've talked about the outside of this gun, let's talk about how to take it apart. Now, it's super easy, a lot like the real gun. Make sure the safety is off. Cock it back. Push this down. <laughs> I thought at first the trigger guard was broken, but no, this is just how you take it apart. So you pull it back, push that down, lift up, and let it out. So, here's your slide, nice full metal, right there, that's the needle, gets hit to, by the hammer to propel the CO2 in, so there's your slide, here's that soft recoil swing I was talking about, super easy there. Right. And here is the gun itself. Now, while it's taken apart like this, let's talk a little bit about how it works. So, with this gun, the way it works is it, every time you pull the trigger, you're pushing this piece forward. Now, what that does is it pushes one BB into the chamber. So, it goes into the gun. Now, then the BB is in the barrel. But it's at a point where it's not going to fall out, so you don't have to worry about that. If once you continue squeezing the trigger, you pull, it fires the hammer, and that propels CO2 into here, and makes the BB fly, and the slide go back. Now it is worth noting that if you do that, you're gonna you're about to take a shot, then you let off. And then, maybe you want to take the shot again, push forward, and fire. You just loaded two BBs into the chamber. So, if you're going to take a shot, and then you decide not to, make sure you keep that finger down until you decide you are going to take the shot, or you're going to end up with two BBs in the chamber. And we all know that that just is bad for performance. Alright, so, assembly, easy, make sure this black tip is um, facing front, again, oh, also, with assembly, hammer needs to be down, so, pull that down, make sure it seats in there, goes forward, just let it go, right there, You're good to go. So there you go. That is the tabletop review of this gun. Stay tuned for a demonstration of how it shoots. Alright guys, so this is not going to be any kind of professional shooting test. I'm just going to show you how the blowback looks and, you know, rough idea of how accurate it is. Um, I don't have a chronograph, so that's too bad, but don't have the money right now, so what are you going to do? So here is the magazine. Got your BBs in there. Kind of double stack, I, I suppose. It's possible to get 19 BBs in here, which is really impressive to me. Um, I think normally you get 17. Yeah, it, it all depends on how the BBs line up. See that's got some nice blowback. Fairly hard kick. For an air gun at least. There you go. Alright guys, so here's another shot from the side. Just thought you might like this to see to watch the blowback action.
Oh. There we are. Now, that hammer not cocking back, that wasn't it running out of CO2. That was just my user error. Alright, guys. Well, there you have it. That was the Makarov Ultra by Airgun Legends. I don't know. I don't know the brand. If you like this video, leave a like, comment, or subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks, guys, and have a nice day.